Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I am T with Jackie P. I film videos on food, DIYs, reviews, mostly makeup and other random things. So if you like videos like that, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and we will be friends. Let's just address this. These are not like any hickeys or anything. I literally just have like an itching attack right now. Um, I don't know if it's because it's hot in here or what, but I'm really itchy right here. So just ignore that. So today's video is going to be a summer haul on things that I have purchased recently for the summer or the warmer months. So the first product that I picked up and I need to get it. So I gotta go. So the first product that I got is a um, bathing suit from Walmart. I feel like a lot of the stuff that I have today is from Walmart. Uh, no shame, no shade. Um, it's this really cute like sage green bathing suit. Wow, these bottoms are huge. They don't even fit in the camera. I got a size large. Not that that matters, but um, it's just a sage green bikini bottom. I don't know what the style is. I don't think I can even tell you guys what it's called Green River. I don't know, um, but I got a matching top with it. It was weirdly on sale for $5, like each piece, and I don't, or was it not? Anyway, it was still cheap. So it was $7.96 for the bottoms. I don't know why I'm like penny pinching there. Um, they're just basic bottoms, and I have a really hard time finding bikini bottoms um, just because I feel like they look gross on me. I honestly, I hate bathing suit shopping more than like how some people hate pants shopping. I hate bathing suit shopping. They fit really nice. They have ties on the side so I can kind of adjust them if they either get too loose or if I need a little bit more room, cause yeah. Then I got the matching top, which I actually got in a medium. I don't know if I should have gotten a large in this. I'm definitely not a big chested girl either, but um, kind of fits a little tight. Um, and it's padded a little bit on the inside, but it's like a triangle tie top, which I really thought was cute. It's very sporty, very neutral. If you're at your local Walmart, check out their bathing suit selection because they have some really cute, cute, cute bathing suits, even cute one pieces. Um, I highly recommend checking that out. So my next um, product is this Saint Tropez exfoliating mitt. It's like so wrinkly and like gross right now, um, but it's literally just this like mitt that you put on your hand it fits here and it's got this like rough fabric texture that really helps to get rid of like dry skin on your knees or your ankles your wrists and stuff like that if you are going to self tan it also helps get rid of old self tanner that is like really stubborn and won't come off because if you ever notice when your self tan fades it fades everywhere but like really dry areas so that just gets rid of that problem. I really like this. It's reusable, so you don't just like throw it away. Um, it's pretty durable, and I like it for just everyday exfoliating too, not just for self tanning, but it really helps if you are into self tanning. The next product that I have is this B Tan um, Mitt that helps you apply self tanner. This mitt is really nice. It's like a furry material. So it's reusable, it's definitely durable and sturdy. It really helps kind of blend stuff in. I've purchased those cheapo mitts in the past and my finger literally on this side always goes through it and then I like use it once and I can't reuse it and I know you can reuse those. So I thought I would invest in like a nicer one. This one's from Walmart as well. This is just, I'm pretty sure it was like six bucks, five bucks, but it's worth it for my finger not going through the side of it. It also helps, like it's lined. So your self tanner does not go in to the mitt and soak in and like dye your hand in weird spots. Like that happens to me too. It's just really soft, it feels nice. And the last self tan product that I have, this is like a used one, um, but is the Malibu Tan brand. Um, hemp lotion in golden glow it's from walmart as well it's like eight dollars um but it's a bronzing moisturizer with skin firming like properties but it's just a hemp lotion and it also gradually tans you so i've used this before when i wasn't like tan in the winter and it does gradually tan but very slightly but 
I have found that this works really, really well when you have a self tanner that's kind of fading or if you want to like add on to it without making it too crazy. This really works and darkens the tan. So I really like this a lot. It does have a weird smell. I have gotten used to it, but it's like a tropical, it's supposed to smell like summer or something, but it kind of has a banana-y smell to me. I don't know what it is and I don't love that smell. Like bubblegum banana, I don't know. It's weird, but I've gotten used to it. So I really like this a lot. So cheap for the amount of lotion you get in there. So I got these sunglasses from Walmart. Everything is from Walmart. I really like cat eye sunglasses. I feel like they fit my face really well. I just like them a lot. And I have this style of sunglasses um, in a lot of different like colors and stuff, but you'll be able to see my ring light in there. But these are so cute. They have like, mother of pearl or lucite detailing and like gold here they're like a light pink they're really really cute i really like them a lot they're like darker kind of sunglasses but not too dark you should really protect your eyes when you're out in the sun eyeballs can get sunburnt too so that was all for this video if there are some summer items that you think i should check out let me know in the comments down below and i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye so i got these i gotta get them first is oh, dropping these so